Guy says, going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 31st, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. So, guys, in the last 24 hours, something big happened in Nigeria. I want to read this part really quick. If you can, please share this video. A dramatic escalation is taking place in West Africa as Nigeria's new authorities make an unprecedented move. They removed the French ambassador after first pointing out to him that they don't even recognize him as an ambassador. Then the police forces dragged him out of his residence and deported him dragged him out they're not playing they are not playing anymore is a sleeping giant next who's next the french are out and they telling the french soldiers you have four days to get out this country if not we also gonna drag you out by uh again biblical war Let me just read this part really quick. So at the same time, Niger gave the French soldiers four days to pack your stuff and get out. Yesterday and the day before, citizens of the country besieged the French embassy and the French military base. All right, guys, before I start getting this video, big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 US Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, this is big breaking news because the next one could be the sleeping giants. Now, these ambassador, the French ambassador, were given 48 hours. And I remember posting the video, I think it was last week. So they refused to go by the 48 hours and they were dragged out. They were dragged out. Told the country, this is a, you know, this is a new, I mean, that's a new sheriff in town. There's a new sheriff in town. We don't play this no more. Smell of war. Nigeria authorities forcefully throw French ambassador out of country. Burkina Faso and Mali send fighters and forces to the capital. Nigeria gave the French soldier four days to leave the country. If not, there's going to be biblical war. Something big is going to come. These next couple of days, just keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. The Nigerian authorities cut off the electricity. Oh! The Nigerian uh, authorities cut off the electricity and water supply to the French embassy while preventing the delivery of food. Wow. Um, yesterday, the French were prevented from installing a generator at the embassy after the electricity and water supply was cut off. Man. All right, so the French um, ambassador, he's out. But what about the soldiers? Because I believe the soldiers were given the order not to leave. Then uh, Nigerian, uh, again, they might send their soldiers and it could be a brutal battle right here, guys. So the French ambassador to Nigeria is no longer an ambassador. The authorities of the Republic have deprived him and his staff of diplomatic immunity and are forc forcibly expelled from the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Cooperation and Affairs of Nigeria's 
a broad of i'm just gonna leave the rest of this in the comments box guys so basically he's saying we don't recognize him nigeria said authorities have ordered the blue to expel the french ambassador in more detail the new nigeria authorities the new sheriff in town announced that they had instructed the blue to deport the french ambassador to naimi again the capital after the ex expiring of the deadline given to the french diplomats to leave the african country so you have the national council for the safeguarding of the homeland headed by general i'm gonna skip his name last friday asked the french ambassador in the capital to leave the country within 48 hours he refused he refused and then what happened well the the facility had no water no electricity they turned off the lights then what happened after that well they tried to get generators and survive on generators but nigeria uh police will not allow that to happen they dragged them out and say hey you don't get the message 48 hours time's up we just turn off the lights and you still want to be here with a generator you got to leave we don't recognize you as an ambassador and now the soldiers are the last ones they were given four days i believe something big is coming uh the new authorities justified their decision by citing the ambassador refusal to comply with the invitation addressed to him to come to an interview and actions by paris that are contrary to the interests of nigeria according to a letter from the ministry of foreign affairs dated today ambassador it's no longer enjoys the privilege and immunities associated with his status as a member of the diplomatic staff of the french embassy his diplomatic documents and visas and those of his loved ones members are canceled canceled according to the letter which notes the nigerian blue services have been instructed to proceed with the deportation of the french diplomat that's it they no longer recognize him as an ambassador. That's it. Visa, that's it. There's a possibility, possibly uh, citizenship, dual uh, citizenship, all that could be cut off. In the capital, Nigeria, the women are calling for French troops to leave. Leave. Well, everything's changing really quick. We are seeing the end, the tip, the end of the, the empire system that is being run by the sleeping giant. We are seeing a new system being put in place. We are witnessing a great rise of a new empire system of bricks. The bear is involved in this Nigeria and all of it. This is going to be new shifting going on. The sleeping giant, the most powerful land in the world, will no longer be powerful anymore. Everybody just kicking them out, saying we don't want you guys. Hmm. And I do believe that all this is going to lead to WW3. The sleeping giant, those in the spotlight, they do not want to lose their powers. Sleeping Giant is going to end up just like the Roman Empire. They're going to collapse. They're going to collapse. The Sleeping Giants, NAT, all of them will collapse. And it's going to come to a point that the Red Dragon and the Bear will have control of, of the Sleeping Giant. We'll divide it. And uh, we're going to be under their law. It's like Babylonian coming to the Sleeping Giant and taking us exile for living the sinful life. Walking away from God. Just like the uh, Israelites, the, uh, those in uh, the Holy Land, they refused. And uh, if you read the book of uh, Isaiah, you know, God punishes nations. Those that used to be his, um, you know, his children now are accepting the things of the abomination. God punishes nations. There are consequences for those who, who, uh, who live lawless life. 
In Nigeria, the siege of the French embassies and a military base by local residents continues. Now, I'm not going to play the video, guys. I got hit with a copyright yesterday. I got hit with a copyright yesterday. I had to fix the video. I stayed up to like one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had to cut certain parts of the video that I showed. Uh, so, you know, videos of what's going on with the hurricane and all the, you know, sometimes I got to be careful with showing these videos. All right, so Nigeria allows Burkina Faso and Mali to intervene if struck militarily. The authorities of Nigeria have announced that they have authorized the armed forces of two neighboring sta uh, states, Burkina Faso and Mali, to intervene on their territory in case of an event. The foreign ministers of Burkina Faso and Mali, respectively, Olivia and this person here visited the capital, where they were received by Nigeria's new strongman. They approved the signing of decree that authorized the defense and security forces of Burkina Faso and Mali to intervene in the territory of Nigeria in the event of a strike. So basically, if you kind of think about it, those in the spotlight of the sleeping giants are being hypocrite. They don't want to accept these new people in the spotlight. It's like us. We had to accept Mr. Burns being the leader of the sleeping giant, even though many of us were putting our foot down and say, wait, you know, Mr. Burns didn't win this fair and square. Well, again, that's what's going on in this area here. The sleeping giant, they don't want to accept this new person in the spotlight and the sleeping giant is not recognizing it. Well, what goes around comes around. And this is why uh, Nigeria is kicking every single one of them out. The sleeping giant could be next. The table has turned, and now they know how it feels when they did that to 2020. Immediately after the July COUP in the capital, they expressed their solidarity with Nigeria's new authorities, especially when the economic community of West African states and French ECOWAS in English threatened military uh, intervention to restore constitutional order. Now this person and Bonaco then warned the CED, -E -E, excuse me, CED, EAO, that they would regard any intervention in Nigeria as a declaration of war against them, which their foreign ministry uh, reiterated. General, I'm um, going to skip his name for his part, explained on Saturday that any military operation will not be the healthy walk that some people believe. Military corps and fighters from Burkina Faso and Mali have landed in Nigeria. Burkina Faso has approved a bill authorizing the Gov to send a military forces to defend Nigeria, should the capital be struck. In addition to the military corps, Mali and Burkina Faso sent warplanes to Nigeria in a show of solidarity against possible military intervention by the economic uh, community of West African states. According to Nigeria State Television, Mali and Burkina Faso are stepping up joint efforts to support their neighboring country and deploy warplanes within Nigeria's borders. Mali and Burkina Faso turned their commitments into concrete action by deploying warplanes to respond to any strike against Nigeria. So they're protecting themselves uh, from those that want to, and I do believe that the sleeping giant, uh, it's the one, the head of the snake, that uh, possibly uh, will not accept this. And especially one of their allies were kicked out. It's, it's embarrassing. One of their allies was forced out. So now you have Nigeria bringing in military just in case they get hit. 
And like I said, the Sleeping Giants, the one possibly give him the green light and say, you can't do that to one of my allies. Can't drag him out like that. All right, so it says here, you have the state television said, noting that the planes were a super Tucano fighter jets. During a meeting on Friday of the head of armed forces of ECOWAS member states in Ghana, the data of the impending military intervention in Nigeria was not revealed. But the organization said that the military forces are ready to intervene as soon as orders are given. Preparing for the worst case scenario. You think uh, by forcing that ambassador out, everything's going to be fine? Well, we're going to see what's going to happen the next four days. Because those soldiers, the French soldiers, were given four days to pack their bags and leave. There's a possibility they might have told those soldiers, stay. And if they don't leave, that's going to be, again... I do believe there's, uh, there's going to be some clash. All right, so Burkina Faso and Mali, both military-led, have since declared that their support for Nigeria's authorities, warning that any intervention will be seen as a declaration of biblical war against Burkina Faso and Mali. And time will tell what's going to happen next. The big story, Ambassador, out. The next one, Nigeria gave the French soldiers four days to leave. Man, they just dragged them out and told them, that's it, you're out of here. We don't recognize you, and uh, we're going to strip you from the passport and stuff. Uh, we don't, I mean, visa, we don't recognize you. So, smell of war, Nigeria authorities forcefully throw French ambassador out of country. Burkina Faso and Mali send fighters and forces to the capital. French soldiers got four days. We're going to see what's going to happen in them four days. But, the sleeping giant, Ikawas, all them uh, states, uh uh. There's a possibility there's going to be something big that's going to strike. But uh, we've seen the first stage now. The first stage uh, is at 48 hours has passed. Then in left, then in leave. And they turn off their lights. No water. They try to get a generator. From there, the blue came and told it, that's it, you out of here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do believe that uh, these next couple of days, there could be some clash. And... That's why you have uh, Nigeria is getting all their military ready. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we, can, we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.